everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and as always Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube and it is Friday once again which means it is time for another installment of Fan Mail Friday. Before we get into today's unboxings, as always if you have anything you'd like to send in to the Ghostbusters News headquarters, we do have our mailing address and it can be found right down below in this video's description. Now that I've said that though, let's go ahead and let's start tearing open, let's start, you know, ripping into uh, today's packages and our first package here comes from New Braunfels, Texas. It was sent in from a Sam Morrow. So let's go ahead and uh, tear into this here. Now I just saw actually what Sam sent in, like the main item that Sam sent in and it's cute and it's adorable and we're gonna show it to you right here in a second. But first there is a letter that, uh, that Sam sent along. Oh, and before I forget, there's actually some stickers on the back of this letter here. The No Ghost logo, Zool, the Gatekeeper and Gozer the Gozerian. Now the note reads, Hi Jason, I watched Ghostbusters when I was five. So Ghostbusters is a big part of my childhood. I love your vids and I watch them every day. Sam, I thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you watch this video going forward like every every day. Sam then says, I hope you like the mini puffed Lego that I made myself. And he signs it, Samuel Morrow, age 10. And uh, here he is right here, the cute, adorable little mini puffed, once again, handmade by Sam Morrow. Sam, I love this little guy and I cannot wait to add him into my Lego Ghostbusters collection. You did an amazing job here with this little mini puffed. I love the fact that you, uh, you dig the videos here on Ghostbusters News and I hope that you continue to fall in love with the Ghostbusters franchise for years upon years to come. So coming up next, we've got ourselves this uh, little black kind of uh, package here. Let's go ahead and uh, tear into this one. Okay, so this one includes some pretty cool stuff as well, and I can't wait to show you, but first, there is a letter, so let's go ahead and uh, start reading it here. Oh, and I should mention that this uh, package of the letter and everything here was sent in by a Jeffrey Keenan. And Jeffrey says, Jason, I've been a fan of the channel for a while and enjoy all the content you bring to the Ghostbusters fandom. Jeff says that he's especially fond of the Fan Mail Friday feature, uh, so much so that he offered to send in uh, his own entry, which is what you're seeing today. He says he made a set of 3D printed Ghostbusters magnets. Uh, inside I'll find two movie logos, which are pretty standard, two different renditions of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, both an angry and a happy variant, a Slimer one in the style of the high c Ecto Cooler design. I, I can't wait to take a look at that one. And uh, another one here, which is gonna be the Boogie Man from the real Ghostbusters, which he says is his largest magnet he has ever made. He says this is all for the first set and he does plan on making a second set down the line. So let's go ahead and take a look at these magnets. Now, first up, we've got the classic, we've got the iconic, both Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 logos here. I mean, these are uh, 3D printed with just like standard filament. I gotta say here, the printing looks so clean, so crisp. These look really good. I got to find some uh, prime locations in my collection to have these on display. From there, we've got these two magnets featuring the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And as I already mentioned, one is angry and the other one, well, he's happy. Now after that, we've got this one here of Slimer. And as Jeff said, this is one of the images they used for Slimer from like the high C Ecto Cooler promotional material. I love the shade of green he went with there. We got the big red tongue sticking out there. We got the white eyes, the white teeth. And once again, I know I already mentioned, but the actual print work here is so clean. These came out great. Jeff, honestly, I cannot wait until your second set. But that's not all for the first set because there's still one left to talk about. And it's this one right here, the Boogeyman. As Jeff mentioned in his letter, this is the biggest magnet he has printed to date. And I think personally for me, this is likely the biggest magnet I've ever actually held. I mean, this, this thing is huge. So Jeff, I thank you for the letter, I thank you for the magnets, and most importantly, I thank you for watching. Now the last few items we're going to be taking a look at today, uh, they're not actually kind of like fan mail, they were sent in both by Dan and Brent of the Buffalo Ghostbusters. And for those that don't know, recently the Buffalo Ghostbusters, they had a huge GoFundMe campaign uh, that funded actually a brand new no-go sign for Hook and Ladder 8 in New York City. And they presented that sign to Hook and Ladder 8 on Ghostbusters Day just last month. We covered it here on the channel, we covered it on GhostbustersNews.com. And to show their appreciation, they sent in a couple of collectibles here to the Ghostbusters News headquarters. Uh, first is something I'm so glad to have. As you guys know out there, I've been collecting patches for some time now, mainly because of this Fan Mail Friday feature. 
And this patch I love, inspired by the broken Ghostbusters 2 sign that is actually at Hook and Ladder 8 in New York City. Once again, so over the moon to actually have this in my patch collection as well. Uh, honestly, this patch does mean quite a bit, uh, being that I, you know, I at least tried to help out. I assisted a bit in this whole uh, GoFundMe campaign for the Buffalo Ghostbusters, so I'm really glad to actually have this in the collection. Now from there, this little piece, uh, this one's really, really cool. It is a pin from Hook and Ladder 8. And you know what, if you're out of the know, I mean, I've been talking about Hook and Ladder 8 for the past minute or so here, but Hook and Ladder 8 is the actual working firehouse that doubled as the Ghostbusters headquarters in all three Ghostbuster films already released. And I love the way that this pin looks here. Obviously you can see it says Hook and Ladder 8, Tribeca, New York, and does feature their rendition of the No Ghost logo. And the last item I actually really, really geeked out over, probably geeked out way more than I actually should have, but it is uh, this autograph here. And it's the autograph of the fan right there that is cheering on Dan Aykroyd in the original Ghostbusters movie. You know, the guy that says, Ghostbusters, all right. As you can see, he signed it here, Ghostbusters News, all right. As well, you can see he did sign his name, Eldo Ray Estes. Now, not only did I receive this autograph, but I actually received a, a video message from Eldo as well. So uh, let's take a look at that. Hey, Ghostbusters News, all right, all right. I'm not gonna lie, that made my year. So Dan and Brent, I thank you so much for sending along those goodies here. Uh, I can't wait to see what future events you put together within the Ghostbusters community. You know, I'll always be here to, uh, to help advertise and help spread the word, well, once again, throughout the Ghostbusters community. And with that, that's all we've got for you here right now. Uh, once again, as I mentioned at the top of the video, if you have anything you'd like to send in to the Ghostbusters News Headquarters, we do have our mailing address and it can be found right down below in this video's description. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube, bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news be sure to check out our patreon page a link to that can be found or right down below in the description and i'll see everybody right back here next time let's go ghostbusters yeah there's something strange coming out to play and i'm noticing effects of a night and day so i'm picking up the phone they were down away heard a thing i'm afraid to know ghosts no one had arms reaching out of a store so to militarize on some with fins board though just got a call and i'm ecto cool grab your tools it's time to fight soul this proton charge you go run you extra up the storage of the beast on your project checkbook you might want a warranty in case it happens down the line everybody's going down in time remember you are not alone got a problem that needs solving just pick up the phone they'll answer down Go! No!